Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Warframe walkthrough. I'm your host, Saigon, and today we're going to be doing a rescue mission on Venus, and maybe another mission after that. Um, I did retrieve my taxon from uh, da, 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 the crafting bench, and I have lovingly equipped him. I don't want that sentinel attack first target. Last ten minutes. Within ten meters. Okay. We have a point for it now. We're gonna throw vacuum in here. Vacuum is amazing. This will make farming for resources so much easier because you don't have to walk over every single individual one. It's one of those like must have mods. And it's one of the reasons why the uh, the the, uh, the robotic companions tend to be a bit more favored than the pets. Now we can go to Unda, Venera, and Linnea. Linnea is one of the required ones for the junction. We need to do a hostage rescue mission on Linnea. We're going to do that. I'm going to <laughs> select the correct mission this time. I accidentally did the, uh, the spy mission before. But that's just an alert, and it's not always going to be there. And we can talk more about alerts later, once we have some more opened up. <clears throat> also, I am going to be doing this one solo. Um, any of the missions that you can fail due to too many failed objectives, I prefer to do just solo by myself. You can do them in a group, and with a group that all understands how that mission type works, it's great. It's great. They go by quick. <clears throat> um, and, you know, later on in the game, everyone will know how they work. But not right now. <laughs> not right now. This... The Switch version is just... Chock full of new players at the moment. We can't leave without rescuing the prisoner. Keep searching. No one's leaving without rescuing the prisoner, Lotus. It's fine. Everything's fine. We will be okay. There we go. You are approaching the holding area. Doors like this, and we can take a break because we want to do this part stealthily. Um, thank you, thank you, Lotus. Once you're past this point and into the actual... God, she's talkative. <clears throat> um, once you get to this point and you get to the holding cell area, if you get caught, it'll put a time limit on rescuing the hostage. And if you don't make up that time limit, you will fail. Doors like this, which are going to be locked on both sides, single player doesn't do anything. Multiplayer is going to require two people to open it. I see you. Oh, he's got his... <laughs> it's, it's a computer terminal. That's not a bad guy at all. <laughs> Anyhow, it's usually best to take a stealthy approach on these spy missions until you know what you're doing. Um, and like spy, well, uh, like spy missions, I said spy missions earlier, like spy missions, rescue missions always tend to have another way in. And learning these back way, back ways in can be a massive, massive help in doing them right the first time. So take your time exploring when you're learning these new ones. The Is there anyone in here? In one of these cells. 
Okay, excellent. Sometimes there's guards in the actual cell block. Corpus puzzles. Make sure that all the lines connect. That's really all it is. Just connect the lines. There's another way in. In this one, through these vents over here. We'll probably take that out. I knew you would come. Thank you. You can give your rescue targets Subject your secondary found. weapon. Bring the captive to safety. Protect them at all it's costs. not necessary because here's the best part about Warframe rescue missions. The target does a really good job of keeping up with you. So if you just freaking book it, you can get back no problem. Before they get killed. Because they're just going to be like teleporting to keep up with you. I tried to be fancy with a stealth kill on him, and it clearly failed. So once you do have the hostage, just, like, bolt. You don't have to worry about... Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay, I know this room. Uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, clearing every room and making sure the hostage doesn't get killed. You don't have to be super paranoid about it in Warframe. If you just freaking run to the exit, you'll be fine. Where this fails sometimes is when you've got a group and there are people in that group who don't understand that and they try and clear rooms and for whatever reason the hostage decides, hey, I want to follow that guy instead. And then you run into a situation where you've had three people run ahead to the end of the level and then you have a fourth person trying to do room clearing and it's going to take them half an hour to get out and now the hostage is being shot at because for whatever reason they're following them. Again, by the time you get to, like, Jupiter, this won't be a major issue. And it is fun running through these quests with, you know, a talented uh, group of players. Um, I want a new sidearm. Now, I'm going to finish leveling the kunai, but let's take a look. Okay, so the Lotto is 10,000 credits. We can just buy this one outright. We don't have to worry about building it. There's also the Furious that we have the uh, blueprints for. If I may say, Operator, your chosen Warframe suits I don't know how close we are to being able to build that. Secondary weapons... We just need one more Neurode, and we might get lucky and find that before our Kunai hit rank 30. I'm holding off on doing my second mastery test, because I'm pretty sure it's the one for secondary weapons. I just don't want to do it. Now all we need to do is defeat the Jackal. Oh, capture missions are cake. So, capture missions... <clears throat> we'll go ahead and we'll we'll blast through these and we'll we'll do uh, Fossa and the Junction next time. But we can knock out Venera and Aphrodite. <clears throat> so capture missions. There's going to be an enemy target in the mission. He might be a little bit stronger than the other enemies. Um, when you get close to him, he's gonna run. Once you deplete all of his health, he'll collapse on the ground. You run up to him uh, on the switch. You're gonna press Y. On the PS4, Square, and on the Xbox One, you'll press X, um, and that will capture him, and then you can leave. Insanely fast missions to run, <clears throat> but also a good type of mission for farming enemy drops, you because unlike action, other missions, find, capture, and extract our target. Uh, enemies will still continue spawning here at a pretty good rate even after you've grabbed the capture target. For, like, extermination missions, uh, usually after you've killed everything, the, the spawn rate really drops off, and that just doesn't seem to be the case with captures. Capture them quickly before they escape. 
indicate our target is in the vicinity. Find them. There. Like I said. Easy peasy. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. Oh, that's gonna! <laughs> I really thought I wasn't gonna get through before the bars came ac came across, came down. Nope. Oh, I got lucky again. No, I fell short. That's fine. <clears throat> and there you have it. Insanely quick mission type. Aphrodite, mobile defense. So defense missions, mobile defense missions, intercept, interceptions, anything where you have to defend a target. I would recommend doing in a group. You can totally solo them, but they're definitely designed for group play. <clears throat> Depends on how much of a headache you want to give yourself. Kind of like boss fights. Uh, your first time doing a boss fight, you should probably actually do it in a group. Um... They have a lot of health for the first time that you reach them. A couple of the bosses took me like 40 minutes or more to solo when I first reached them. And I, I'm, I've kind of hit the point now where I like going into a boss fight blind with a group. I still haven't customized my landing craft. I'm so sorry. We'll do that. <laughs> I swear we'll do that. Maybe after this mission, if I stop forgetting about it. By the way, if you move your landing, landing craft around in the loading screen, I automatically like you more as a player. <laughs> if you're not moving your landing craft around, I think there's something wrong with you. Sure, you might be AFK. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations Oops. while I break into the We're all the going network. the wrong way. Be prepared for heavy resistance. Oh no, no, he took it the wrong way. Uh, there is a data mass. It's a little item that you need to pick up and you need to bring it. To a computer terminal. And then you have to defend that terminal. Good, he put it in. Get me in and get ready to defend. I see you too have customized your Excalibur. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Got a bit of lag here. Um, I believe that tends to be a sign of the host not having the best connection. It happens sometimes. Still working on it. Continue to defend. I'm not sure what their netcode is like, but yeah, look at that delay on the damage that the MOA took. I don't think that that's actually a Digital Extremes problem. I think that that's a uh, host problem. 
We probably got paired with someone with like Australian internet or something. Game? Oh my god. I can't we are finished here. Move on. do anything. <laughs> it's so bugged out right now. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> oh, there's the exalted blade. That was about 30 seconds delay. Open door. God, I hate it when this happens. If I wasn't recording a video, guys, I would have just left this mission, and I would advise you to do the same. Because it's frustrating dealing with this. Location reached. Drop me in and defend our position. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Oh, oh, did the lag drop off? It might have. Oh, Moa. It's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Still working on it. Oh, I need more energy. Okay, that's reasonable, I guess. Endo! Endo, yes! Yes! Pick it up! and we will be on our way. Oops. Well, hang on. No electronic circuitry. We, this is stuff that we want, so let's grab it. <laughs> Thank you. Game. I cannot explain hard enough that that is not a loading thing, that is a lag thing. Terminal spotted. Upload there we go. Defend. Oof. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Ah, oh, it's terrible. The, the health on the barrel isn't going down. Enemies are just standing around. Continue to defend. They get disconnected? Maybe? I might have. That barrel still hasn't exploded. Yes, I'm going to blame Australian internet. That is... The only thing that makes sense to me right now for why it's this bad. The odds were against us, Tenno, but we did it. I should also make clear, I'm not actually in Australia. I'm just assuming that the host of this party is. Now we get to play the waiting game. When we come back... Next episode, we'll go to Fossa, we'll fight the Jackal, and we'll also go over our first Warframe farm. <clears throat> Mission complete. Okay. Man, that was... That was something. Uh, we did get some endo, so I'll be happy about that. We got a couple more mods that we can sell for additional endo. For the next boss, um, 
Some people like going at him with ranged, but honestly, I feel the next boss, the Jackal, in my experience, has been easiest to take on with a melee weapon. Because <clears throat> it gets you under his stomps often. So we're going to make sure our Exalted Blade is up to snuff. Oh, let's sell any extra mods we might have. Normally, I would simply wait <clears throat> until I have, like, a huge amount of duplicates to get rid of. Uh, but at this stage of the game, we are kind of really hurting for endo so that we can upgrade. I'm willing to get rid of them ASAP. Did you fuse your mods, Operator? I did. did they anger you in some way? They did not. Yeah, Exalted Blade is going to be hilariously good for this next boss. <clears throat> I don't think we have enough endo to level up pressure point anymore. If we do, yeah. <clears throat> Again, if you're not sure what to mod with and you're not sure what to spend your endo on, anything that just raises a base stat, base melee damage, it's always going to be good. You're going to use pressure point on almost every weapon you have until you get a primed pressure point, which isn't going to happen for months, possibly. <clears throat> so this is a really safe mod to throw your points into. Uh, vitality, steel fiber, redirection, any of the mods that give you just like a basic increase on a common stat, a base stat, is going to be a good investment. Because you're going to be able to use it on virtually any equipment that you get. All right, we still have some points. I want to put our extra points into vacuum. Vacuum is day. such a useful ability. Well, seems to have misplaced those lemons. Oh, we have we have five. We have a whole five endo. That's fine. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna end this episode here. Next time, we'll take on the jackal. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time. Take care.